I'm here at HPE Discover with Janice Zankis, and I just talked to Pat Smoker from Purdue about precision agriculture, and I'm curious, how, what's HPE's interest in precision agriculture? Ah, uh, okay. So, so HPE cares about uh, various philanthropic efforts. Uh, we have a huge living progress effort, but as part of that, we're engaged with the World Economic Forum. One of the um, missions of the World Economic Forum is around food systems and the new vision for agriculture. Um, you may know that we have a huge impending crisis around lack of food to feed the world's population by 2050 with 2 billion people um, population growth happening in the next 20 to 30 years. And there is really no um, pace that we can accelerate for improving our yields of crops. So when you study this problem um, from a philanthropic perspective, uh, you realize that change is needed, disruptive change is needed. And in our um, meetings and our partnerships with Purdue, we realize that they have all the elements for disruptive change. And so by bringing technology attributes and solutions together with the competencies that Purdue has in agriculture and engineering, together we had that aha moment, like, you know, this is an ag tech opportunity. This is an opportunity to help build an ecosystem um, of many other partners, of many other students, of many other entrepreneurs to come together to help bring the mind power together to solve the issues around food systems, food waste, and sustainable growth. And so what is, uh, what is HPE specifically bringing to the table in this relationship with Purdue? So we brought um, together our technologies, so our Aruba wireless gear, our compute at the edge, it's hard to actually work in the fields, um, adaptive towers to allow crop rotation and monitoring of wireless signals uh, at a variety of place of locations. But we also brought together our partnership with the World Economic Forum to Purdue. We actually uh, brought together our relationships with venture, venture capital companies to actually start to have a dialogue and a conversation about the food system value chain and the places where together technology could actually help uh, accelerate research findings in agriculture. That's pretty cool. It is cool. So what's next? Um, I know uh, we've talked about, uh, when I was talking with Pat, we talked about some of the research that they are actively doing. Um, what's next in terms of, of how HPE and Purdue roll this out to the rest of the world? So um, the vision is to actually use the data that's being captured on their vast fields, animal uh, farms, and also the um, uh, leading edge uh, greenhouse uh, controlled environment that they have and make that data available to um, entrepreneurs and startups who want to test on data. So if you have um, an idea for a product, if you have a new um, mechanism you might want to put on a tractor, if you have a new thought around a software algorithm to analyze plant phenotyping, where do you go to test that data? You can't actually go plant a field and grow it you know, for 10 years. Here is a set of data, a very diverse set of data that could be available through the IoT test bed. So our vision is, have an IoT test bed, and because Purdue is a land grant university, they are federally funded for um, making their data accessible. Um, their data could be used uh, in a variety of test cases for new entrepreneurs who are developing products and solutions built off of the, the data.